Hey guys, I'm looking a little bit like ahead today. I had to wake up early on my day off. Well, I didn't have to, but I got up early on my day off. My mom stayed here with me last night um, because it's my birthday weekend, which is why you're here at this video. Um, but we got up and we went to breakfast. So I had to get ready really, really quick. <coughs> so I have the bare minimum of makeup and I have, you know, just like a sweater thrown on me, like a poncho style sweater. I just had to get ready fast. So that's why I look the way that I do. Like, please don't mind it. You are here to watch my 24th birthday haul. My birthday was on Friday the 13th and I turned 24 years old. Uh... I don't feel 24, um, I feel mature. I've always been kind of like mature acting, but I, uh, I, don't, I don't feel 24, I don't feel like I'm half the way to 48. Saying it like that just makes me wanna throw up. If you wanna see what I got for my birthday from my boyfriend, my parents, and my friends, just stay tuned. The first thing that I got, the first thing I opened from my friends is kind of a little bit of a gag. Um, which I'm totally fine with. I will totally use this. It, she even got me it in a little bag. There was tissue paper. She got me an avocado. We have that running joke about the little boy. I'm sure that you've seen this. It had like millions and millions of views. The little boy who opens up his Christmas present and it's an avocado. It's an avocado! Thanks! We say that all the freaking time, like too much. Anyways, and I eat avocados. I really like avocados. So she got me an avocado. I'm not mad at it. I, I I buy them myself, so I will use this. So thank you to her. One of my boyfriend's best friends, he came in for my birthday, like I had a big party on the Friday, like last Friday. He got me like another, this isn't like a gag, like he literally bought me this. He bought me almonds, chocolate covered almonds. Again, I'm not mad at it. Like, I think it's funny. He's like, it's really, really small, but I thought that you'd be able to snack on it tonight. Like, as in like on Friday and I was like, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it was so funny. So he got me those and I didn't eat them on Friday, but I'm going to eat them, okay? Let's keep on the kind of like food train here. Another friend got me a bottle of wine. She even like had it in this little wine bag. It is a pink Moscato from California. It says World Vineyard. So it just looks like this. I love me some white wine. I love me some Moscato. So thank you so much to her. I will definitely be enjoying that. Then next, I actually have a friend who works at the body shop and she got me this. So this is an actual ice bucket. So it came in this and everything inside is virgin mojito flavored. So there is, this is a bath, no, sorry, a body splash. This is one of the body butters. There's an exfoliant in here, a shower gel, and then there's a green little loofah. But then it all comes in, oh, sorry. Then it all comes in the ice bucket. So you get to keep the ice bucket, it says the body shop on it, and use it for ice. And I thought that that was such a cute little idea. And obviously I'm gonna use the stuff inside. And it smells like a mojito, it smells delicious. So thank you so much to her as well. And then right after I opened that one from her, one of my other friends had given me this little set of like more body bath stuff. Um, so this is bath salts, bath salts, <laughs> body lotion, and then a body wash. And these ones smell like candy. Like this doesn't even have the thing off it. I can smell it through it. It smells like little strawberry candies, kind of like, um, Oh, what are they called? Swedish berries. Kind of smells like Swedish berries. So thank you to her as well. So next is stuff from my boyfriend. For Christmas, he had gotten me my Instax Mini 8, and I've been using it nonstop. Like I have, I've been using it literally nonstop. So he actually got me a little photo album. So this one is silver, and it's just like metallic-y, has a little purple strap, and I have it completely filled. It's filled with pictures. And I love my camera, and I love that I was able to fill this, but I mean, now I literally have to go and buy another one because I've already filled it. But that's okay. That's cool. And I really like the silver color of this one. Next, he got me an Alex and Ani bracelet. And this one I've been wanting for a little while. I just hadn't got it for myself. So this one is the Garnet. So this is obviously my birthstone, January. And it's in, like, the gold color because every Alex and Ani bracelet that I have is silver. So... 
I've been wanting a gold one and I've been wanting my birthstone. So he got me that and that was, you know, super nice and thoughtful of him. And let's just like that. Then the last gift that he got me, we had here and it didn't fit me. So it's the Adidas black, what are they called? Tubular sneakers. Um, they have like kind of like a big bottom to them, like thick, not like wide, but like just like kind of like big as in like thick. And they say Adidas right across the back on like a little strap and then there's like a strap across the top of them. I'll insert a picture. They were here and I tried them on and they were my, my like true size is a nine. He got me a nine. They were too big. They were flipping off the back of my heels. So we went to the store yesterday. He bought them at Browns, by the way, just in case you're wondering. They did have them in a gray color as well, but I wanted black. So we went to Browns yesterday to exchange them out for like an eight and a half or an eight, just whatever would fit. They didn't have either of those sizes. So that was disappointing. And I was gonna bring them back and just like get my money for them and I guess just pick up something else. Um, because they didn't have a different size. So I was talking to one of the girls there just as we were about to like bring them, you know, bring them through and bring them back. And I was like, oh, like, no, because she was like, is there anything I can help you with? And I was like, no, like we already asked another girl. There's no like other size in these in the store. And she's like, oh, well, we can try and order it from our warehouse. And I was like, oh, the other girl didn't tell me that. So she looked up their like warehouse stock and they had an eight and a half. Now I have an eight and a half coming for me from the warehouse. So I still have them as of right now. Hopefully the eight and a half fits. I want to keep them. I couldn't find anything else that I liked more than that. No, 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 no. Hopefully the eight and a half fits me. I want to keep them, but I mean, if it flips off the back of my heel, there's not really much I can do. An athletic shoe that flips off the back of your foot is not really any good to you. I will insert a picture of those just so that you can see them, but I don't have them with me here right now. So next, the stuff that I got from my parents. First thing, got a bottle of Yellowtail Moscato. I like my wine, I like white wine, it's delicious. There's even a bow on this, like, I'm happy about it. To go with that, I got some universal wine, like stemmed wine glasses. So my parents also got me these, there's four of them. I will open it up and show you. These ones are really nice and heavy. So they just look like that. They're really beautiful. I had mentioned to my mom that I wanted stemless and stemmed. So she got me both. So that was, you know, super nice of her slash my dad, even though I know that he had no, you know, he didn't have any involvement picking these out, but that's okay. It's a thought that counts. So then I also got these ones, which are the stemless ones. They just look like that and there's four of these as well super nice so I also got a new pair of pajamas from my parents they're from Reitman's just in case you want to know so the top just has a little fox on it which is really cute and then the bottoms are just a red plaid they have the same blue and then the same red as the fox so they do match really nice. I mean, it was a set, but anyways, that was super cute and they fit really well. So super happy about those. And then I also got a new candle, one of my favorites. This is Marshmallow Fireside. Oh, it smells so good. And I didn't buy one this year. So I'm super happy that I got one of these. Now, at my parents' house, I've actually used this. This is my mom's hair dryer that she has. Like, I mean, not literally this one, but she has this one from Costco. And mine's kind of kicking the bucket. And I had mentioned that, like, just in passing. So I also got a new hair dryer with a diffuser and the styler. Both of those has come with it. And it has three different heat settings and two different speeds. My big present from my parents is actually a pair of winter boots. So it's a pair of Merrell boots, M-E-R-R-E-L-L. -L. They are, oh, I don't remember the style name. I will again insert a picture. I don't have them with me because we haven't ordered them yet. So they have special um, bottom to them that allows you to not slip on ice. I do live in Canada, we do get a lot of snow, 
and the sidewalks do get very, very slippery. So I thought that that would be like a really good gift and I wasn't expecting any of the other stuff that they got me. Oh, and my mom also made me a carrot cake, which was really delicious and like it's still in the fridge. Um, and it's really good. She makes the best carrot cake, promise you, like delicious. So those haven't been ordered yet, but I am planning on getting them in the brown color. And like I said, I'll insert a picture here. They're kind of expensive. That's why I didn't just buy them for myself. So I'm really grateful to my parents that they are getting those for me and that they understand my struggle with living around the damn snow. I mean, they do too. They, they understand. Anyways. And then last but not least is actually something that I bought for myself. I mean, I buy things for myself all the time, but this is something that I was like, you wouldn't be buying this for yourself unless it was your birthday. So I bought this specifically for myself for my birthday just because I don't need another one of these. Um, but this was something that I don't have any of this specific brand and something that I really love. It was a lipstick. I don't own anything from Lime Crime except if you saw my recent um, makeup haul. A friend actually gave me a Lime Crime lipstick. But I was at Urban Outfitters on Saturday, the day after my birthday. And my Urban Outfitters just recently got got in like a whole bunch of makeup stuff. Um, BH Cosmetics, they also have OCC, and now they have Lime Crime. So I was really intrigued, I was really excited, so I decided to pick up a color. My hair is still blue, and I was thinking that like really nice like orange kind of like rusty tones go really nice with my hair. I got the color Penny. So this is one of the pur Pearlies? Pearlies collection. Um, the like really beautiful packaging says Lime Prime, says Penny up there. So I got this color and I did wear it yesterday and I really, really like it. The best way to describe it is rust. Like it looks like rust, but like really beautiful rust. So it looks like that. I don't really have anything that looks like this, which also kind of like helped me get it, but it just looked like that and I really like it. The formulation on it is really nice and I am really happy that I picked it up. Like I said, I obviously didn't need it, but I totally got it anyways and that's, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I also forgot to mention my boyfriend on my actual birthday bought me a Dairy Queen ice cream cake. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday, all my friends who were over and, um, you know, just showed, you know, how much they care. I really appreciate it. And obviously my family and my boyfriend, thank you so much to everyone. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. I am in no way trying to brag about anything. I'm just sharing with you what I received. And I just want to let everyone know that I'm really grateful. And I really appreciate the people that are in my life. And I really hope that I have a really good 24th year. I'm not excited about being 24, but maybe the year will make me excited about it. I don't know. Also, can we just direct our attention to the fact that my Christmas tree is still up but me and my friend decided that it could be my happy birthday tree it's coming down like tonight or tomorrow I like I swear to god it has to it may be in Wednesday's video just because I may film Wednesday's video today maybe maybe we, we don't know anyways enjoy the tree it's gonna be going soon I know that it's been up for a ridiculous amount of time it just takes so much time to put it up that you just like I don't want to put it down I've had the lights on every night if you like this video, give it a like, maybe subscribe, a little birthday gift to me. Thank you guys so much for watching.